everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Evanora, Wicked Witch of the East, from The Wizard of Oz. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, did you catch that at the beginning? I almost said of the West. I mean, <laughs> you can't blame me. That's what I'm so used to saying, Wicked Witch of the West. And technically, this one is from a different movie, right? Now, bear with me, because I even had someone who commented on the last one, like, that's not, that's not the Wicked, that's not, you know. It's like, look, A, this is how I draw. B, I'm gonna draw whatever I want, so, I'm mixing it up. I'm gonna draw all the characters. So I'm gonna draw from uh, uh, Return to Oz. I'm gonna draw from, uh, what was this one? Oz the Great and Powerful. And I'm even gonna draw from The Wiz. I'm gonna draw all kinds of stuff. So I figured now is the opportunity to, to get this right, to do, uh, or now's the opportunity to do everything I want to do. And if I want to do, you know, the, all the characters from a certain movie, let's do them. You know, that's, that's how I look at it is, is let's just get crazy and do as, many, as much as we can. But also I kind of want to do how I want to draw. I mean, because, and what I mean by that is, um, this is going to be the, 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 no spoilers, but this is going to be the end version, right? So the true form, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So a little a little scary or a little not so pretty. That's what I'm trying to say. But again, I figure it's a good way to to draw whatever I want in, in this crazy, crazy, crazy world of, of having some fun, you know? And also a lot of this too is gonna be dress. Kind of like a uh, Varasafi from yesterday. It's gonna be mostly uh, the outfit, you know? Now, granted, she does have this, this train like back behind her that we are going to kind of get a little crazy with but uh, for the most part for the most part it's just going to be cloth right so uh, I, what I'll try to do is I think I'm going to do like uh, let's see if I can pull this off like some uh, magic power. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this off camera. You can't even see some magic power looking um, pose. I guess we'll do lightning. You know, we'll do the green lightning look. But uh, let me see for our hand. Maybe if I could do like a. Because here's the other thing is I kind of want to capture old lady uh, uh, witch hands and and draw them right. You know, even though I'm making it up 100%. So let me see what I could do for old lady witch face.
and uh, sorry if I'm, I'm concentrating now, but this is interesting because it's kind of like what we did for uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. And, and there I said color is going to take care of it, but I guess not on this one. Here we got to go ahead and just do the full on lines for the face and the crazy, the crazy uh, wrinkles and all that stuff, right? And I'm hanging her hair straight because it's it's more up and bobbed and whatnot in the uh, in the movie, but in the reveal, you know, is what you've seen. Um, there's more of a flat. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, here's the thing. So the. You know what? I almost kind of want to draw the necklace like flying off right because the necklace is what uh, keeps her magic so maybe we should fly it off to the side right that's what contains the uh, the, the, the the beauty the the youth right okay so I think I'm good with the pencil drawing so let me erase some of this sketch real fast because what I normally do is I put the lines down just to kind of get placement, right? And those are just sketch lines. Once I'm confident with them, I start pressing harder. Those obviously are confidence lines. So when I lightly erase like this, the sketch will disappear, but the confidence will stay. And I basically, I wanna do this because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil lines. You're welcome to just keep sketching if you're just sketching along too. But this is what I wanna do. And so that's also how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness, keep your confidence. Okay, I think that's enough. I can see where we're gonna go. And it won't stand out for the Sharpies. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're gonna go. Oh, I just ripped off the whole piece of paper here. And if you wanna see more Wizard of Oz drawings, check out that playlist right there, or just check out the playlist in general, because I do so many that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. If not, drop me your request, and we'll see what we can do. All right, I've already explained why she looks the way she is, so I'm just gonna jump right in with the eyes, and I'm gonna draw the top of the lids like this. I like to do those first to see if I've got them level, like where I'm gonna go, because if not, I have to redo the entire thing. So, now that I like where they are, I'm gonna draw some pupils, I'm sorry, retinas, the color part, real tiny like that. Now, this is so tiny that I, can, I can't really put in a pupil. I'm just gonna try to put in a dot close to the center, and that's it. That's all I can really do, because like I said, this is too, a little too tiny for detail, so, bottom of the eye I'm just gonna kind of come in just a little bit towards that center and that's it I'm gonna let color take care of the other part of the line you're welcome to draw it if you want I just got no room for it so in this version of what I'm drawing I'm gonna give her a very very uh, uh, feisty face I mean this is the reveal face I guess so I'm gonna uh, make it creative. How's that? All right, for the for the crooked witchy nose, I'm gonna do something like this. And I, I've got her kind of smiling, cackling, you know, in a in a crazed uh, witch um, manner, I guess. And if you want to know why she looks this way, go check out the sketch. I've already explained the entire reason. So I've had people, another one saying, oh, that's not, that's not uh, Theodora. But uh, there's a reason, there's a reason. Okay, for her chin, I'm gonna bring it down a little low. All right, 
Now I'm going to start to work on her hair. Now again, I talked about the hair. What I did was uh, I picked a certain way to go. And so I'm just going to draw it out like this. And I'm not going to draw all the strands, but a majority of them at least. She's going to have her little hair thing. So I'm going to have her dress still the same. But in the final reveal look, that's that's kind of what I'm going for here. So that that is kind of a, a, a very matty, you know, witch hair look. But also it's white, so I don't want to draw all the hairlines. I, I want to, but I shouldn't is what I'm trying to say for this. For the sake of the drawing integrity, I shouldn't draw every single hairline if it's white hair, right? I want color to do some of that. And I don't want it to look like it's black hair. I mean, I, I, uh, I have to make some decisions when it comes to inking, that kind of thing. So if I haven't explained, um, what I'm doing is thickening up my outlines only because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match kind of what's about to happen. that very witchish okay and that's also kind of hiding her neck too which is good and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the necklace kind of flying off of her because I mean obviously in the movie that's what gives her her, her witchy power right now here's the thing she has this uh, little headdress thing I kind of do like this and all, the same thing for her shoulders a lot of it is feathers so I'm gonna do it with the Sharpie pen God, I couldn't remember what this was the Sharpie pen to uh, make it delicate right it's so because they're feathers because it's like this, uh, um, I want to say a flowing, but like a, a delicate uh, um, ensemble of, of feathers and whatnot. I don't want it like it to have a hard edge. And so I just want it to look a little Like that, like feathers, like like you know, it's 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 delicately the collection, right? Whereas like clothing and stuff like that, yeah, I, I want a hard edge there. I definitely want to have some some uh, um, features there. But this, yeah, I just kind of want to do something like that. And I think that's going to be good because it also it looks kind of old and and decrepit, like she is, right? Okay, so. I kind of need to do that for her shoulders real quick, just to establish some edges. And again, it's just to give it that, that featherish look. and to keep it light. So something like that. So see, I even want it lighter than her, her hair. Her hair, like I said, I'm gonna thicken up these edges just to match what's about to happen. So 
Let's switch over. I'm going to go to the other Sharpie now. And so now, her costume, her arm is raised. So her costume, I'm going to go ahead and draw the shoulder like this to the arm. And so see how thick that is? That's what I'm going for. You know what? Let me draw her chest so you see where we are too. Let me draw her, her waist like this to her breasts. And it's got the uh, little frilly looking uh, edges, but I'm still gonna follow like a breast shape, right? And then I can draw, because because basically her, her costume has um, sleeves. They're see-through, but they're still sleeves. So I just kinda wanted to give you a heads up of where the body shape is in comparison to uh, where the arms are. Okay, so that means her arm's gonna come up this way, right? There's the bottom to the elbow, and then the forearm is gonna come up this way. Her sleeve, which is pretty much we're following anatomy is all we're really doing. But I, I just wanted to show you in contrast, like head, torso, arm, like what fits. why it's 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 shaped this way and also why I'm doing that because again it's cloth all this is cloth and that's why I separated it right there too okay now for her hand I'm kind of doing this witchy witchy type kind of thing so bear with me we're just gonna come up here for a wrist go back here for the the uh, uh, pinky and the, the fingers are kind of curled in over themselves okay so we're gonna draw them the top view like that as well so I'm gonna come up here with this pinky, like that, kind of the same thing with the ring finger. And then the uh, middle finger is more raised, right? And the nice thing is we can kind of, you know, uh, make them pointy and scary because it's a witch. And there's the index finger. Coming down to the thumb. And this is hard to do with a Sharpie this big, but uh, I'm gonna come back in and add a few extra little lines here. But I, the reason I do it with the Sharpie is because I want you to be able to just grab what's around the house. If you've got a Sharpie, go for it. If you've got pencils, go for it. I don't want you to have to buy expensive supplies just to play along. You can, you're more than welcome to spend whatever you want, but I'm just kind of saying, you don't have to. Let's just grab what you got and make it work, okay? That ought to work. All right, and, and I'm gonna do, let's do like some lightning too, like a little bit of, of power, a little bit of whoosh, whoosh, right? Okay, so for her neck, eh, uh, you really can't see much anyway. Um, so I'll just do like a few of her collarbone lines, stuff like that. But again, you really can't see much of it anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Plus it, it's blending in with the hair anyway. So we're good, we're good. Okay, so this arm we're gonna stick out. And so the shoulders here coming down to the bicep forearm and I'll do the other side so you can see where we are too like this and I'm gonna draw the forearm to the wrist the elbow up like that to the uh, cuff cuff of the arm Again, cloth, so that's why I do that. All right, so this hand we're gonna do very uh, dramatic, sticking out like that, so we're gonna bend it down to the first knuckle. It's gonna come down here to the thumb, and 
here is the main part of the hand. That's just kind of give you an idea of how it's just kind of stretched out like that, okay? There's the thumb. There's the index finger. Okay, how she's got it really super stretched out, okay? And then here's the uh, middle finger. And now the rest of them are kind of all back behind all this, so there's not much you really see besides the tips. Okay. Let me clean that up just a little bit with the bigger Sharpie. Sometimes I kind of stop where I am just to make sure that I can fix it a little bit. bit of a of a weird uh, witch claw type thing with longer nails there we go all right cool so the rest is pretty much just layered uh, cloth so I've got her legs kind of spread a little bit she's in a wide stance so I'm gonna bring this down here like this and put it over her foot and you can see her toe is what we'll say like this and then uh, it draped down. Then this one won't cost you a thing. Here's our other toe, so that's a free toe. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do the other part of her costume down like this. And a follow in her leg. Like that. Now she does have uh, this train uh, basically a piece of material that's behind is called a train not an actual choo-choo train <laughs> back behind her but it's like from the waist so it's kind of flown back this way it's just something else to draw considering it's just you know cloth so I just thought we would do that um, let me do a few with the small one too ooh and maybe we should do it with the small sharpie like, like I was talking about with this to make it a little more a little more, not elegant, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, flowy, like it's not a hard edge, it's not this material. It's a different kind of material, kind of like that. So, let's just kind of flow it back this way. I can always go back with the big Sharpie if I don't like this. Let's see what happens. Let's just kind of bring it from the back. Like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. A little thin, but I think once we color it in, it'll it'll make more sense, right? Oh, and you know what? Let's draw. I almost forgot about this. Let's draw the necklace like it fell off, right? Here's the necklace. And that's what's keeping the beauty together. But she doesn't obviously have it anymore, so the necklace just came off. And then we're gonna do the other one like that. There we go, awesome. Okay, so let's draw the rest of the train. Again, just kind of flowing in a certain way, almost kind of like, like we did uh, um, Barris Offies yesterday, just kind of a flow up, you know? There we go, I like that, I like that. Just to kind of show again that it's just a, a flowy material that's just kind of flowing back behind her, you know? There you go. I say that's good. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Evanora, Wicked Witch of the East from the Wizard of Oz. Sorry, from Oz the Great and Powerful, but Wizard of Oz motif. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.